How's it going guys? And welcome back to another episode of Man Like Murray. And we get things started off in this episode by going into the first game where we get matched up against this Premier League side with some players in some unusual positions like Diego Costa attacking midfield and Wayne Rooney at defensive midfield. And it would be my opponent who would take the lead in the game as Wayne Rooney finds the run of Roberto Firmino who slots the ball under the goalkeeper and we take a 1-0, we go 1-0 down early on. My opponent then makes it 2-0 as Lukaku finesses the ball from the edge of the box right into the top corner and at this point things were starting to look dire. Although we would start our own comeback into this game as the ball falls to Anthony Knockart who finesses it into the back of the net from just outside the box and the game's 2-1 and we're right back into it. Although my opponent would have a response as he plays the ball through and it finds the run of Roberto Firmino who slots it under the goalkeeper yet again, just like he did for his first goal, and the game's 3-1. My opponent then adds insult to injury, as Lukaku finds Roberto Firmino, who puts the ball away to get his hat-trick in the game, and we go 4-1 down just after the start of the second half. We would grab a goal back, as Glenn Murray looks for the run of Anthony Knockhart, and Knockhart manages to slip the ball under the goalkeeper to make the game 4-2. And in fact, we would get another goal back in this game. As from the free kick, we play it down, it bounces, and what a volley from Cyprian to find the top corner to make it 4-3, just as the clock ticks towards the 90th minute. Although unfortunately, it wouldn't mean anything, as my opponent would still pick up the win in this match. But I think this goal is worthy of a replay, just from the way that Cyprian hit this, the technique to smash that into top corner past Azmir Begovic. It's probably one of the best goals we've seen in this series so far. But as I said, it wouldn't mean anything as we'd still pick up a loss in the match. And as we go into our next game, we get matched up against this side where, where this guy's got a Premier League side with Roberto Carlos of all people playing in the left wing position. But we would take a 1-0 lead late on in the game as Glenn Murray finessed the ball into the back of the net. And it was a... A rare goal for Murray in this division. He's really been struggling to find the back of the net. As the ball's bobbling, my opponent would be able to win it back off me. And look how quickly this turns. He picks up the ball with Dembele and absolutely levers the ball over the top. And Jamie Vardy's too quick for Pereira. And Vardy goes through and slots it away, levelling up the match. And the game's won all inside 77 minutes. And my opponent had a response very soon after my goal and as a matter of fact that's how the game would end as we pick up a draw. Going into game number three we get matched up against this very interesting looking English side with the foot birthday Agbon Lahore and the foot birthday Darren Bent and we would take a lead in this match as we get on the end of a poor back pass with Martial and as you know it comes off the keeper and Knockart manages to put his chance away into the back of the net and we take a 1-0 lead inside 13 minutes. Although it wouldn't last, as not long after my opponent goes down the wing and crosses it into Deli Alley, who gets there before my defender to put the ball past my goalkeeper. And my opponent wasn't done there, as he got in the space with Darren Bent, who put the ball in off the bar with an excellent finish, and the game's 2-1. And Darren Bent still had more left in his locker for us, as he smashes the ball into the top corner in the 57th minute, putting my opponent 3-1 up, and that's how the game would end, and we get another loss in the new division. And we now go into our final game of the episode, where we come up against yet another BPL side. And my opponent would take the lead through Ilkay Gundogan, who goes to on goal and smashes the ball into the back of the net with an excellent finish. But we would level things up, as Knockart cuts back, goes for goal, Martial tries to shoot, it's going off target, but it goes in as an own goal off of Schmeichel. But my opponent would punish me straight after with Sadio Mane bursting through on goal to make the game 2-1 inside 34 minutes. But yet again we had a response as Martial breaks away through the lag and as he gets thrown goal he manages to slot the ball underneath the goalkeeper into the bottom corner and the game's 2-2 before half time. The next bit of action would come after half time as the balls play, play through to N'Golo Kante, who slots it away very nicely for my opponent. And things were looking tough in this game, and I knew something had to happen, 
and the next piece of action would come as we play a very nice passing move as Knockart cuts it back and lay lays it into Adrissa Gay to slot the ball away in the 87th minute to level up the game, making it 3 all. And that would actually be how the game would end. I were really struggling in this new division to pick up some points. It looks as if we're going to get safety, but we really are struggling to get the crucial points to go for promotion for Division 2. And that's where I'm going to end it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe for more Man Like Murray on my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.